welcome back to my channel um i really appreciate you guys checking back in i'm actually going to be filming a business casual slash professional dress um haul and i think that it's really cool to you know dress up your your work attire because yeah nine to fives are kind of boring but your personality and your style can still shine through so i went to three main stores um, the first one was ross then marshall's and then tj maxx all three of them carry cute clothes they're affordable and for the most part carry some sort of plus sized clothing now i know that you won't be able to find the exact same things but for sure you'll be able to find something similar so you definitely don't have to break the bank to look stylish and be fabulous at work so yeah let's get started so i decided to stand up just so i could show you guys the clothes a little bit better i found a lot of basics at ross and i wanted to start with the accessories um the first thing that i thought about were um some foot pads these are the gel ones and they go in the middle of your flat or heel. And these I've never actually tried. These um, cover your toes. So you're supposed to cut them and shape them. I also grabbed these earrings from Anne Klein. And they're really pretty. They were only $6. They're really small hoops. And then I also did grab two pairs of flats. These were $15.99 and these were $14.99. They're not brand name at all. They're soft enough. But for sure, I'm going to need to put the gel pads on them. This first dress, I really like because it definitely reminds me of the Calvin Klein styles that they have. Um, and I think this is nice because right here, you know, it kind of slims you in with the black bean right there. The zipper is kind of small, but, you know, for what I paid, I only paid... I paid $16.99 for this dress and I would make, you know, a whole outfit out of this. I would just wear it with flats, uh, maybe tights, but for $16.99, like heck yes, I think it is very flattering and it is a very nice length. I'm still not 100% about keeping this dress. Um, it comes with a belt here in the middle and it has a nice gold zipper. What I really like about it is two things, the material and the sleeves. So it's very, very stretchy. And I like having sleeves because, you know, it gets hot, so I don't like wearing a cardigan at all times. And then going with that blue theme, I don't really own clothes in blue. So to me, this was really interesting that I found so many things in blue. I got this dress, and this one I really, really like. It has a lot of stripes. Usually you want stripes to go vertical if, you know, you're a more of a bigger size but I thought it was beautiful the sleeves fit really well I think it like really slims me down and again it was from that brand in focus studio so this is in a size 12 and it was on sale for 14 bucks originally it was 17 so not expensive regardless from the very beginning but I just thought it was so pretty this was only $15.99 so again really good deals this one's a really thick cardigan the buttons are just adorable and um i honestly would throw this on top of any of the dresses or on top of any uh shorter sleeved shirt i also went to marshall's and at marshall's i picked up these two things that i think are essentials um i picked up rose water it was only eight dollars so i thought you know for its size it's really good and I usually keep this on the desk and either when I'm kind of bored, um, I spray myself a little bit or if I see that my makeup is looking a little, you know, on the dusty side, then I spray on some rose water. The other thing I grabbed from kind of like an accessory, not essential, but you know, it's nice to have are these Nine West socks. And these are for my flats. A little hack that I recommend is putting baby powder in your flats if you're not a fan of socks. Or even if you are, um, the baby powder absorbs your sweat. Marshalls was actually my, uh, I want to say my favorite. They just had a lot of options. The only thing I didn't like about Marshalls was that they didn't have as much plus sized options so that was really discouraging because i would find really cute things but then i wouldn't be able to you know grab it in my size so it was like a give and a take um something i really really liked was this shirt and it has stripes and it's in a black but it's kind of like almost like a dark navy it's 
from the bottom it flares out a little bit so at first i thought it was a peplum style but it's not i really like the sleeves i think they're really pretty and they um you know have like a little pop of of like a flirty look so i definitely would pair this with something else that i grabbed i grabbed um two plain uh bottoms and one of them being a skirt so this one is from Jones, New York, and they actually had a lot of cute clothes from this brand, but this one is in a size 14, US 14, and something that, eh, you know, when you're buying affordable clothes, it kind of sucks, is that the zippers are pretty small, kind of dainty, and you know, if you pull too hard, they might rip, so you do have to be careful about that, but I just think this is a really good length. Um, it falls a little bit past my knees, depending if I put it on my waist or if I, you know, hike it up a little bit. It's still um, right at my knees. I also grabbed some pants in navy. And so with the shirt, it just looks so cute. Um, these are from Anne Klein. And she actually has a lot of things in all three of the stores. So it was nice. It doesn't have a zipper. But what I do appreciate is that it has some pockets. They're not, you know, really pockets. They're full pockets. But I still enjoy them. They're very stretchy. They fit really well. And even though they're um, form-fitting, they aren't too tight. They're not overly tight. They don't look like leggings. To, at least to me, they don't. They look like slacks. But they're so comfy. So I really like these. I wish I had found them in black. I really do. The last thing I grabbed from Marshalls was this black dress. And this is actually the most expensive expensive item i grabbed in my haul aside from the purse it's a calvin klein black dress and what i love about the calvin klein dresses even though they are a lot pricier than the other clothes they carry is that the zipper is so nice and thick um and it's just you know it just it gives you that um idea that it's gonna last forever um so i really like the the lines right here um i think they help you know hug you and the material is kind of i would want to say it's kind of like a thick legging it's just very stretchy um i got this one in a size 10 and the reason i was willing to splurge on this one it's because it is like an iconic basic a black dress the last store was tj maxx and i was only able to grab two items like uh from the from the accessories um one of them was these kate spade earrings I'm sure many of you have heard Kate Spade passed. Um, I'll link uh, I'll link something down below. My co my condolences go out to her family. I hope um, they're doing well. So very very pretty. They came with a little pouch, so that's really nice. And I also picked up a deodorant. So I picked up this from the from the brand called Schmitz, and I picked it up because it's a natural deodorant and. And I kind of want to start making that switch into making a lot of my uh, beauty products, you know, organic, vegan, um, friendly for the environment. This one smells really nice. It's a really strong vanilla scent. Um, it's rose and vanilla. They had um, a lot more professional or office wear at TJ Maxx than at, at the other two stores. And I was really impressed. The first item I got are these pants and I'm very into you know I want to make a statement and usually if I'm wearing neutrals it'll be with like a necklace um, but in this case I got um, pants with dots I think they are so pretty they're from Jules and Leopold and just in a size large again there's no zipper or any buttons um, there are no pockets and that mm, I don't know if I like or not but they still look like slacks and still a very nice material very stretchy this one was a little pricey but i know with the material that it's gonna last forever it's a button up that goes all the way up this blouse has dots all over the place and i really enjoy the ruffled neck i think it is so pretty it's in a size large and it is from adia adriana Papel. I just think it's so feminine and so cute and clearly I would wear this with a neutral bottom probably a black skirt or black slacks um, but I also think that it would look great with a pop-up color like you know red slacks so lastly but not least is this black 
um, blouse or shirt, whatever you want to call it. It has a really pretty neckline. It's kind of ruffled. And in the back, you can tie it. So I really like that because I think that even though, you know, the office isn't somewhere where you want to go all sexy and, you know, seductive, I think you can still express yourself and your style and your personality through your clothes, even though you're at work and it's um, office wear, professional dress or business casual. So before ending the video, I did want to show you a little purchase that I made. Um, I was on my way to Nordstrom to get a Dagny Dover tote, but I figured that I should walk by Macy's and um, coach before I went to Nordstrom. So I did, didn't find anything at Macy's. And then when I went to coach, I just told, you know, the SA, I think that's what they're called, um, that I was looking for a tote. And I really was looking for a black tote, but I ended up getting a neutral color. And yeah, I'm just going to show you guys already. So it's kind of like an unboxing, kind of unbagging. So this is the bag. I will take it out of its plastic. Um, it has silver hardware. And I just think it's so, so pretty. And I would say that this color is in taupe. But it's actually, um, they're nude. And it's called the Pebble Leather uh, Market Taupe. It's so pretty. Um, inside it has a gorgeous yellow color. And when you open it, like this thing is a huge bucket. What I really think is adorable is that um, it doesn't have a zipper. So that is something that I'm not crazy about. You can tie that right there and kind of wear it like a smaller toe. You kind of squeeze this in. And I think that it's a very interesting shape like that. Originally it was like $3.50, but I only paid like $2.10. And because it, it was such a great sale, I um, also picked up a bag charm for it, which I think is so pretty. So that's how it would look. Um, it's also silver, but it has a little bit of gold. So yeah, I really like it. I think it's beautiful, um, very lightweight, and just with a beautiful pop of color that I feel like you don't see as much once I'm wearing it. So honestly, I think the color is more than anything for me. I really do appreciate you watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. And again, thank you so much for all your support, and I love you guys.